what happened last time on Dragon Ball Z Kakarot? No, seriously, what happened? I was gone for a few days because I thought Johnny decided to stop making the Let's Play because his computer was acting up again and again and again. I heard Goku got super safe for the first time, so that's something. I still don't know what else happened. What happened when I was gone? Someone, please tell me. <coughs> I, I, I can't do the voice anymore. It's, it's hurting my throat. I'm sorry. What is up, my homies? It's your boy, the John Eno, and welcome back for some more Dragon Ball Z Kakura. Yep, that's right. I am officially back doing this Let's Play now. And uh, since I'm in, I think from now on, after after um episode eight, I feel like it, I feel like as far as the cutscenes go, the, I'm gonna, I'm gonna decide to uh make them much shorter because all those all the episodes from episode one through eight, they, they felt too long or really because of the cutscenes. So I decided to go ahead and probably shorten the cutscenes each time I um play this. I'm not gonna try to make separate z video files like I usually do when I make these let's plays because that takes too long. I'm just gonna try. I'm gonna try to do all of it in one video. Like each clip be like 20 minutes or 30 minutes long, and then Roughly try to Roughly a it year out. and a half had passed since the fight with the dreadful Frieza. But there was still no sign of Goku returning to Earth. The world had entered a period of peace. That peace, however, was to be short-lived, as a new threat was rapidly approaching the planet. Yep. Here we go. The Android Saga. here already? Krillin, you felt it too, right? It's Frieza, and someone else with enormous power like his. I like how Gohan grew some of his hair back, but it turned into a ponytail. Yeah, kind of hard not to notice. There's no way we're going to miss a massive energy reading like that. <clears throat> <sighs> Sorry, my throat's not in right today. Phrasing. This can't be good. Do you really think it's Frieza? Well, sure seems like it. They'll know we're here if you don't quit your foolish babbling and lower your power levels. They have scouters, after all. The Namekian's already lowered his. At least one of you is smart. Piccolo! They're here! <coughs> Man, the closer we get, the heavier the air seems to get. We're almost at his ship. Are you sure you're ready for this? Yes! It seems this Super Saiyan Goku you keep going on about is set to arrive here in three hours. So you intend to wait for him, Frieza? Why, of course, Father. But I want him to suffer for what he did to me, so I think I'll slaughter every last one of his beloved Earthlings. I couldn't care less about the Earthlings, but we do absolutely need to rid ourselves of that Super Saiyan. By any means necessary. You ain't got no drip. You ain't supreme. Hmm. And what brings you here, Earthling? I'm here to kill you. The mysterious savior from the future. What's that now? You're here to kill us, you say? Hmm. Eliminate him. Sir! <laughs> Ooh, got him. Well now, it seems you've got some skill. Come at me with everything you've got. Unlike Goku, I won't take it easy on you. Goku? Oh, I see. So you're an ally of his. Never met the guy. Only know him by name. Of course you do. Oh dear. You do realize that killing my men puts you in grave danger, do you not? Now I have to kill you myself. You miscalculated. 
A miscalculation? Oh, I beg to differ. Wiping you and the rest of the filth from this planet would be child's play. That's not what I meant. You're about to find out what it's like to fight a real Super Saiyan. And I'm not talking about Goku. There's another one right here! Oh boy. Prepare to die! The only one dying here is you. Nothing! Oh wait, okay, R2 is block. Alright, okay, wait. You came all the way here to Earth seeking revenge, but unfortunately for you, you're not gonna be able to carry it out. I'm gonna kill both of you. That's not a threat. Okay, do that. That's a fact. What's wrong? Now's not the time to be holding anything back. This is it! Whoa! This is it! Burning attack! Whoa! Super Saiyan! Trunks be balling. I don't know what it is I'm trying to say, but man, that's crazy. Trunks will be playing around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kaboom. I impossible. Right! Those two huge powers! They're both gone! What in the world is going on? <laughs> One way to find out. Right! I'm gonna head over there and wait for Goku! You're more than welcome to join me! What? 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 How does he know about my dad? He's gonna show up right over there. If you're coming, then follow me. So, what do we do? Uh, I'm... I'm gonna follow him. Yeah, me too. I'm going to find out who this creep is. He should be here soon. I woke up in a new bullet. And here huh? he is. Goku, I need to speak with you. In private, if you don't mind. With me? Uh, yeah, sure. I need to know something. Are you able to become a Super Saiyan at will? Yeah, I mean, I couldn't at first. But I can control it pretty good now. That's great. Now I have to ask, would you mind transforming for me now? You got it. <laughs> this good? So, what now? Now, I'll become a Super Saiyan too. As in T O O, not T W O. And I'd like you to fight me. And I won't go easy. Fine by me. Knowing Goku, of course you'll be okay with that. Bring it, pal. I mean, I had more than enough power to overwhelm Frieza than yours. I could tell you weren't serious. You're incredible, Goku. Hey, you're no slot yourself. I can see how you defeated Frieza so easily. What? Well, truth be told, you were the one who was supposed to defeat it. I was supposed to? What do you mean? If you only had arrived here earlier. But for some reason, I guess you couldn't, huh? Well, I wouldn't say that. I know a little technique called instant transmission. Instant transmission? Here goes! Block. All right. All right. I know. At least I know when the block does that. Yeah. I, I might have just changed history for no reason. Then changed history. Amazing. You're just as good as I'd heard. No, better even. Okay. I'll tell you everything. But please, it's important that you make sure not to tell anyone else what I'm about to tell you. Gotcha. Don't worry. Talk away. 
Your secrets are safe with me. It might be difficult to believe what I'm about to say, but I've come here from 20 years into the future using a time machine. The, the future? 20 years from now? My name is Trunks. I'm Vegeta's son. What? Vegeta's son? Actually, now that you mention it, you do kind of look like him. What do you mean by that? Three years from now, on May 12th, at around 10 a.m., two incredibly powerful figures will appear on an island five and a half miles southwest from South City. Who are they? Are they aliens? No. They're androids. Created right here on Earth. They were created by a mad scientist from the former Red Ribbon Army named Dr. Giro. The Red Ribbon Army? That's right. The same one you took down many years ago. Oh yeah, when I was just a little guy. I thought I got rid of those guys a while ago. Like back when I beat up their boss. Unfortunately, Dr. Giro survived and continued his research. Of course. So, what's he after? World domination or something else crazy? I'm not entirely sure, but it's possible that was his end goal in the fight. Three years from now, my father over there, Krillin, Piccolo, everyone is killed. Wait, hold up a sec. What about me? They didn't kill me too, did they? Even you couldn't join in the fight. Not too long from now, You'll fall prey to a severe heart virus. What? Well, this is a pickle. I'm guessing sensu beans won't work, huh? Man, this sucks on so many levels. I can't believe I'm gonna die in such a lame way. I really wanted to fight those guys. Here, when you start to see symptoms, take this. It's a medicine developed 20 years from now. It should keep you alive. Whoa, really? Awesome, thanks. Normally, History shouldn't be changed. But I've got to do whatever I can to prevent those atrocities from coming to pass. My mother always spoke very well of you. She knew you'd help us. That's what pushed her to complete the time machine. Wait, your mother? She knows who I am? Yes, she knows you well. Wait, you said she built a time machine. Isn't that right? And the only person I know who can do that is... No way! Your mom! Yes. She's right over there. Whoa! Honestly, I'm not that surprised. When I first when I first heard about it, I was like, what? Like, not when I played this, but I mean like in general, like way before this game was even made. Bulma? <laughs> Out of all the stuff you just told me, that's gotta be the craziest! I thought she'd stick with Yamcha. Knowing Yamcha, he ain't got no maidens, no kills, no nothing. He's broke. He's useless. Oh! Bye, have a great time. Hey, isn't there something more important you should be telling us? Huh? If you can't find the words, then allow me to help you. What? You mean you heard? My sense of hearing is leagues above any of yours. I won't say anything that could possibly endanger him. We're not going in unprepared. If we die, it won't be for lack of skill. Wait, die? What are you saying? On the hunt for the androids. Piccolo explained the situation, being careful to avoid revealing anything that could expose Trunks' identity. The others could do little to hide their shock at what he had to say about the terrifying truth regarding the two androids that would appear three years from now. Kakarot! Here comes Vegeta. Spill it! How did you get off planet Namek alive? Oh great, here we go. After all of that, that's what your main concern is? Yeah. For a second or two, I thought I was done for. But then, right at the last second, I somehow managed to find a spaceship. <laughs> that's right, the Ginyu forces. You took one of their ships. But when I jumped in and started to fly away, the spaceship took me to a planet called Yardrat. Those Ginyu goons had attacked Yardrat before, so they must have had that as the destination. So that explains the getup. I'm guessing that's what the Yardrats wear? Yep, they were all super friendly. 
They gave me these clothes since mine were torn up pretty bad. I find it extremely hard to believe that you came back from Yardrat empty-handed. Those freaks may be weak, but they have strange powers. You picked up some of them, right? <laughs> Bingo! I wanted to learn a lot more, but they really only had time to teach me one technique of theirs. It's called instant transmission. Kakarot, you may be a Super Saiyan, but mark my words. I promise I'm going to put you in your place soon enough. Do you ever shut up? Don't forget that the number one Saiyan here will always be me. <laughs> All right, so I guess we'll see each other in three years. Uh, where we said. Three, Hi, two, Mom. one. G Goku, H is that really you? Oh, okay. <laughs> of course it's me. You look like you've been doing pretty good. You had me so worried. Where have you been this past year? And what's with those clothes? Here we go. <sighs> Typical Chi Chi. And Gohan, what are you doing in that outfit? Uh, yeah, about that. You know, it's kind of a long story. <laughs> and I hope she understands. What? You have to train Gohan because you're gonna fight some robots in three years? Don't start, Chi-Chi. You're already doing this. Yeah, that's okay, right? No, that's not okay! Are you insane? <sighs> no, no, no. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna comment any further. Do you think I'm just gonna let you waltz in here and disrupt Gohan's studies? No. Uh it's, I'm not trying to do that. It's just, well, the Earth might be in big trouble about three years from now. No, I don't care what you say. I'm not letting Gohan train with you. So, so it's okay if you die. Okay, so I'm, not, I'm gonna remember that, Chi Chi. Goku's gonna remember that. And he should remember that. Every time when Gohan needs to train and then all of a sudden some evil villain comes out of nowhere and then the whole planet's about to die, don't start complaining and forcing him to study anymore. Because if this keeps happening, Goku, you need to learn what a divorce is because you need to divorce Chi Chi right now. I'm, Red flag. I'm just saying. I don't care what y'all say. I don't care what y'all say. Chi Chi, I'm getting tired of Chi Chi. She's like one of the most aggressive characters. Screw it. Let's just continue. Hang on. Wait. You're saying the fate of the Earth isn't as important as Gohan's studies are? Thank you, Goku. Thank you. Finally, someone gets it. It's about time you figure it out. Of course Gohan's studies are more important. Nothing's more important than that. Okay, if the whole planet blows up, don't, 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 don't come crying to me. Or go crying to Gohan. Or Goku. Whoever, just don't go crying to nobody. What? You don't believe that, right? Come on. Let Gohan train with me. Ugh, fine. This is the absolute last time, you hear me? Chi-Chi. But in three years, he's done with all this fighting. You got that? <sighs> Thanks, Chi-Chi. And sorry. You're not sorry. Don't be sorry. So even Super Saiyans have their weaknesses. Oh, shut up, Piccolo. All right. Since that's settled, let's go train. Goku! Goku! Can you hear me? Hey, I know that voice. It's Kami. Yep, reading you loud and clear. I'm glad to see you've made it back to Earth. I've been waiting for you. My apologies, but would you please come to my lookout? I must speak with you. Oh, really? Does it have to be now? I was getting ready to go train. What I have to say concerns everyone. Please make it quick. Okay. Finally, we get to meet with Go Piccolo and Gohan. No interruption. Some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. Nah. I said no interruption. All right, time to train. Finally. Uh, Dad. Sorry about that. Now, what do you say we start out with training? What's with a random item? <laughs> All right. For starters, I want the both of you to come at me. Why did he pose so slowly? Both of us? Are you seriously that full of yourself? Gohan, I want to see you at your full power. Try and catch him off guard and overwhelm him. Okay. 
That ain't gonna work. Let's see what you two can do. Don't hold back. This is this. Not bad. That's more like it. Come on, Gohan. Keep at it. I will, Mr. Piccolo. What? Is that all? Strong. That's enough, Gohan. You and I are strong, too. I guess you didn't delay your return a year just to make an entrance. Hey, you guys are pretty good. I'm impressed. I knew you were strong. Wow. So this is the power that was able to take down Freeza. I need you guys to get stronger. Stronger than Freeza even. Man. I... I hope I can. Damn Darn it, I'm trying to... Come on, how... Dang, they never... They don't give... That's what I don't like about fighting games sometimes. They don't give you breathing room to, like, power up. Dang, he got me with the... Do it. No, let me get Pickle up first. He... There we go. Alright, you and me, son. Dang, okay. Darn it, one ass super saiyan, hold on. Wait, no, no, go back, go back, go back, transform back. Why did you revert? There we go. Okay. Okay, uh, here's an item. I always use like one or two items per fight. I try not to use them all up. Block. Power, 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 power. No, no, no. Based on how you guys fight now, I can tell it's gonna happen. I don't know about that. I'm not done yet. Looking forward to whenever that is. Dang, I can't block that in time. Obviously. Can't block that either. On it. Dang, go home. That's there enough we go. training for today. <laughs> Fine by me. I need to work harder. All right, how is it so bad? Man, you've gotten stronger, Gohan. <laughs> you think so? Of course he has. Unlike other kids, he's already gone up against the likes of Vegeta and Frieza. Good point. Being here reminds me of when you first started training me, Mr. Piccolo. <laughs> you mean when you were a pathetic ball of tears? Piccolo! That's just wrong, bro. What? No, not that. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm starting to get it. So, this is where you guys trained when I was dead, huh? Yeah. Mr. Piccolo was super tough on me. I had no choice in the matter. He was useless to us back then, and I did what I had to do to fix him. Sorry to put you through that, Piccolo. Gohan's a lot stronger now, and it's all thanks to you. And who knows? If he keeps it up, there's no telling how strong he'll get. Might even get stronger than us. <coughs> Beast Gohan. What? Who said that? Stronger than you two? No way. He'd better. We're going to be in real trouble if he doesn't. No kidding. And that's why I'm here to help you guys out. Let's show them how strong you can get in three years, Gohan. Yeah, speaking of everyone, I wonder what kind of training they're going through. Weak training. Vegeta's most likely sticking to himself and off somewhere doing his own thing. Obviously. Probably crying. Oh, don't worry about him. I'm sure Vegeta will be fine. Yeah, I can imagine. Vegeta yearning to go undergo 
Extra train, extra hard training. Yeah, I ain't gonna read all this. Of course, it's at Bolton's place. What's Krillin doing there? He trained in some sort of room where he had control over gravity. I need to access that room. That annoying woman's old man is the only one who could construct something like that. Where is he? Some blade is the principal. Say him, Gizarat. There you are. Yes. Can I help you? What is going on with that training room I asked you to build? Basic construction is complete. I just need a few more items for the finishing touches. Yeah, like what? There aren't a lot of things that can take a beating from you, you know? This thing has got to be durable. Let's cut to the chase. I finish your shopping and you finish the room, that right? That's right, you got it. Here's what I need you to get for me. Okay, gravity crystal, dimensional lead. There's no lead, I mean, and iron crests. And okay. that about does it for the things I need. <laughs> you want me to get this, huh? Great. More, um, I know. I am searching. I'm going to push myself further than you and become a super saiyan. A few moments later. And that should do it. Hey there. You a local on this rock? I got a business proposition for you. Give me what you got, and I might not kill you. Who the hell are you? Remnants of Frieza's pitiful army? Are you... Vegeta? W what are you doing here? Oh, I get it. With the Frieza Force gone, you've become a galactic highwayman too. Sorry, but I got here first, and I ain't sharing with you. You caught me in a bad mood. That will be your final mistake. Die! Vegeta, you're always in a bad mood, and nothing is true to make you smile. Oh my god, do you- can you just shoot energy blasts already? Okay, alright, you know what, just got a gun, everything goes first. Okay, you get on my nerves. Oh my god! Y'all not that powerful! Dude! He like stop! Alright, you know what? Get this stuff first, because you're getting my nerves. You need to go. You're making me as angry as Vegeta right now. Block. Oh well. And stay dead. Jerk. I might as well talk. I might as well call this episode "Running Errands" or something. Cause goodness gracious, I got what you asked for. That better be all of it. Now that I have this, the room's as good as ready. Wait here. That <laughs> gravity room. He just wrote it there. All right, it's finished. Kakarot trained under 100 times gravity. So I'll have to triple that and train under 300 times gravity. Actually, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Assuming you weigh, say, about 175 or so pounds, that'd be approximately 18 tons of pressure. That's only three times what Kakarot did. There's no way I can't handle it. Might as well let him do it. That Vegeta is unbelievable. Training under 300 times gravity? Is he trying to kill himself? Damn it! Uh, Vegeta? What are you doing? <sighs> Shut up, woman! Leave me be! Oh, you don't want my help? Suit yourself. Why? Why can't I reach his level? You suck. You're second best. You always will be, Vegeta. No one cares about you, you're weak, you might as well stay weak. Why don't you just ask Goku what he does to turn into a Super Saiyan? I'd die before I ask for that low-class loser's help! Yeah, then why don't you try dying? Oh! What did you say? I've prepared a special training partner for you in the simulator. Think you can beat them? Do you have any idea who you're talking to, you ridiculous woman? You're Vegeta, the almighty Saiyan Prince, right? 
<laughs> I guess that settles it then. Good luck. And one more thing. My name's Bulma, not woman. Think you can remember that? Do you know who you're talking to? Damn that woman! He really doesn't care. Okay, what's going this on here? Place, this is the wasteland where I first fought Kakarot. Which means... But how? I'm fighting myself? What the hell? <laughs> Consider yourself lucky. A super elite like myself, wasting his time playing with scum like you. Damn, that blasted woman! What the hell is her problem? You're about to learn the hard way that effort alone isn't enough to reach my level. I will get stronger. I will go beyond Kakarot and this bastard version of myself. Gun! Show me more of your power. You haven't used it all up, have you? You're in for a treat. I haven't begun to tap into my power. Prepare yourself and bear witness to the unstoppable power of a super elite. Don't be ridiculous. The only super elite around here is me. Oh, yes. I broke Vegeta. Oh, Vegeta broke himself. This is unforgivable. Something. What's unforgivable is robbing away here, wasting my time with you. Hey, I want to power up, but I get. I need... Just finish him off. There. I will surpass even myself. I will punish myself for lagging behind Kakarot. Wow, I guess that wasn't enough of a challenge for you, huh? You. You really know how to piss me off. Oh, come on. I was just messing around with you. More. Huh? You're right. It wasn't enough. You're going to make me a stronger opponent. Uh, don't you take that tone with me. I'm going to get stronger and use that strength to crush those androids. You have a problem with that, Bulma? <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Vegeta just went Sigma mode. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say to that. Fine. You're a real pain, you know that? So that's how Trunks was born. Huh? Hey, GG. We're back. Every time I play this game, the more I hear that name, Chi Chi, the more I already know. Hi, Mom. Three, two, Man, one. We really worked up a sweat today. Goku, do you have a second? I'm not even gonna say it. Sure, Chi Chi, but can it wait? I'm starving. Don't you? I'm starving me. I got a bone to pick with you. Yeah. Why can't you act more like our neighbors and drive us to the store once in a while? Bruh. Do you even have neighbors? Y'all live in the wilderness. But Chi Chi, we don't have a car. And even if we did, I couldn't drive it. I don't have a license. You need to get a driver's license. You're the only one around here who still doesn't have something that basic! Uh, you do realize Goku can just fly, right? Why drive when he can just fly? Who needs a car where he can fly? You know what? I've had enough of this woman. Let's just continue. Piccolo doesn't have one either. What use would I have for that? Exactly! Then you need to go to driver's ed! Think of it as training to become normal everyday people! You're both obsessed with training, right? Then you can't say no! What? Why do I have to? Poor Piccolo. The next day, after catching an earful from Chi Chi, Goku and Piccolo reluctantly made for town to enroll in driving school. Now then, shall we begin the driving lesson? Those weren't the clothes that they wear. One eternity later. <laughs> How was that? Hi, right, finally. That's over. Oh, oh my. All right. Looks like I'm the winner, Piccolo. Oh, wow. Who are these guys? <laughs> One more time, Goku. Wait! I said wait! A license isn't some prize for bragging rights! It's to ensure that you can drive safely and responsibly. Like I care about that. 
<laughs> that is the best thing Piccolo has said in a while. I will not accept defeat from the likes of him. <laughs> I think I'm starting to get a hang of this whole driving thing, don't you? Let's go, Piccolo. Come on, let's do this thing. Excuse me? With pleasure. Oh, it's about to get real. Start your engines! What? It's on, Goku. Oh, yeah, Piccolo? Three, two, one, go! Oh, God. Oh, that's one for the highlight reel. Goku, so how'd it go? <laughs> Handled it like a complete pro. I beat Piccolo no problem. <laughs> you what? I'm not exactly sure what you mean by that, but whatever. Did you get your license? Oh, actually, there's probably something you should know. I think the instructor was a little freaked out by how we drove. She told us she'd give us our licenses if we promised to never come back. <laughs> so, so you, you didn't actually pass the test? Uh, you guess you could say that? But well, at least you got your license. Yep. Now we can buy a car and finally go on those family drives I've been dreaming about. You know what? I'm also come out and say it. Why do you need a freaking car when Goku can just fly you to those places? Or he can just use a freaking Nimbus for crying out loud? Why did you... Ugh. In times like these, I miss Slick Goku. I miss Slick Goku so much, man. At times like these, I miss him. If he was here, he would tell, he would tell me what to do. You gotta treat a car like you treat a woman. Go on. No. You know what? Never mind. Well, the thing is, they also said we'd have to pay for all the damages caused during the test. And I can't even guess how much that'd be. What? Uh, I'm not so good with money, so... I'll let you handle that. Thanks, Gigi. <laughs> Typical Goku. You. Well, now that that's done, let's get back to training. Yeah. Mom? Whoa, Chi-Chi. You all right? That should be fine. See? I know it wasn't easy, but you finally got your license, Goku. I'm proud of you. Now all we need is a car. What you need is a brain. More than Goku should. Oh! A car? Do we even have money for that kind of purchase? Well, not after paying back the city for all of the damages you caused when you were taking the test to get your driver's license. I'm counting on you to get us that car, Goku. Oh, right. I see. Sorry about that. Hey, uh, why don't... Why don't I ask Bulma? She's a whiz with machines. Cars are machines. I mean, you're not wrong. Good idea. Bulma always has a solution up her sleeve. That's true. I guess I'll hit her up about it then. You do that. Oh, hey, Goku. What brings you here? Well, it's not a big deal, but I was hoping you could help me with a little problem. Uh, sure. What's up? Not sure if you heard, but Chi-Chi made me get a driver's license, which is fine, but the thing is, now she wants a car. Got an extra one lying around in those tiny capsules? <laughs> Doesn't that beat all? Earth's champion, now a licensed driver. <laughs> sure, I can get you a car. Seriously? You don't strike me as a responsible driver. Any normal car would turn to scrap with you behind the wheel. Finally, somebody gets it. Chi Chi's the only person who just wants Goku to be normal, and she never actually seen him in battle or. Okay, all right, all right. You know what? You know what? Go you know what, Chi Chi? Goku's your husband. He's your husband. You married him. You keep telling him to do these things. You keep forcing Gohan to do their study and all this nonsense. You know what? I'll let you deal with this. I really don't care anymore. Find me the stuff I need and I'll hook you up with an extra sturdy set of wheels. All right then. 
So what do you think we need? It's all on this list. Be sure to refer to it when you're out scavenging so you don't forget anything. Oh, more scavenging. You know what? This might as well be called running errands. This episode might as well be called running errands. Oh, and one more thing. Leave all matters of maintenance and upgrades to me. Excellent. Thanks a lot, Bulma. Don't mention it. After all, happy wife, happy life. R&D is available. Yay. <laughs> My head hurts. I'm home, Chi Chi. At this point, I should have just live streamed the entire game. Well, did you get us a car? After I round up a bunch of materials, Bulma's gonna make one for us. Really? That's wonderful, Goku. Then you'd better get to finding those materials. I'm sure it'll be good training too. I don't know if I'd go that far, but then again, you never know till you try. Oh, now you're okay with him training. Yeah, now you're okay with him. Now you're okay with him. <laughs> uh. Nurse, where are my pills? All right. What should I do today? Dad! Mom's calling for you! Already? Really? Hey, Piccolo, do you think you could take Gohan and train him for a while? At least until I can catch up. <laughs> Fine. Hey. All right, let's see what else happens here. Goku, I just got a call from Master Roshi. He said launch is back at Kame House. Okay, wasn't that in the last intermission that we had? The, the very first one? Oh yeah? Talk about a blast from the past. So what's going on with her? I'm not sure, but he said she wanted to talk to you about something. But I've got training to do. Don't you dare be disrespectful to Master Roshi. Just head over there and hear them out. Shut up! You know what? I think it's about time I just take a break just for this whole episode. This, this entire episode was just me running errands. You didn't get into the gut part where, where we fight the androids. I don't know if this was in the original anime or not. I'll, you should tell. You I guys. What's going on with Master Roshi? But um, I think it's about time we just go ahead and end things off here. My brain hurts and I need a break. Like probably a short break after I after I edit this video and upload it. You probably watch it now since it's already uploaded. But at the time of recording this, it's not even uploaded yet. So, anyways. Thank you so much for watching it. Zap that like button and subscribe. Ignore the dislike button. Leave a comment down below. Tell me you guys think this video, this game, the entire let's play. Click on the notification bell to check for more videos. If you can't wait for more, check out my old ones. John and sound peace out, homies. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I can't do this. I can't do this. Where are my pills? Nurse! Nurse, I said where are my pills at? One of one of one of my homies. <laughs>